Right, looks like to spoil myself on weekends. We're doing a little porch at the moment. So uh, everything's on now, so we're just gonna continue cutting this side of the ridge out. Most important thing is, can't ever have the ridge too tight. So if I know it's all straight and level, I'm gonna give it a tap into place with a mallet, make sure it's nice and tight. mess around with uh, like a set of shears one ties at Nash Eve's knife which was granddad's nice and sharp a nice new sharpening stone Critical thing with this is when you cut it with a knife, there is no going back. That is it, it's game over if you make a mistake. So to start off with what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna shave underneath the rod work just here, which will make it a nice sharp edge, and then I'll take the thickness out. So I can carry the knife at the angle which I want to cut it at. You can tell it's nice and sharp because a nice tight finish on the straw just there. There's no bounce at all in the straw. It's coming around really nice and tight. Now from the fun bit. Uh, don't often get the chance to cut this on the scaffolding. The knife has got the knife has uh, got to be sharp enough to go through this in one push. Now I'll cut round the hood, bring it round, curl it round following the rod work. Tight gap here between where the porch is and where this sash window is, so yeah, it's a bit of a squeeze, if nothing else. Now, I'll carry on the process what I was doing before, process what I did before, make sure the reach is nice and tight. Face off. See how tight that is. By shut how easily the face is shaved off of there. Lovely and smooth. Nice tight finish. Cut a bit more out and we'll clip it with the shears. Right. Lovely. Now, nice pair of sheep shears. Again, these were my granddad's. Do. Just 
flip the face off so it's nice and neat and even. You don't want any of these wispy bits down the bottom. Sorry, not the top either. Now there'll be occasionally be just a few loose bits underneath. Out. What I'll do now is cut clip the thickest out the bottom, another quick go over just on this face. Then go across the straight edge, do a nice straight line there, it's not jaggedy and smooth. Okay. Make sure there's nothing loose and underneath there. The key thing is to keep looking back at it, make sure there's you know, like the old flaggy bit just in there. Just pull that out so it's got nice and neat underneath there. It's not got full of bits which will end up falling out. Now just pan across that. You see, got a nice, smooth, neat finish going across here. Really tight. Doesn't have to be overly too wide. Okay. Most important thing is how tight this ridge is. A nice tight ridge like this. Wants to last 15 odd years. Lovely. 